morning. <laughs> oh, boy. I think it's one of those mornings where I'm going to go get cleaned up and shaven and look shiny. But for now, here I am, groggy and froggy and foggy and feeling I could use some coffee. <laughs> Maybe you could, too. But, you know, the Lord kind of spoke to me this morning and was talking about how sometimes people forget one of the most important things that he has done recently. He made you. He chose you. He called you. As a matter of fact, he even went so far as to have his son die for you. So, I don't know if you realize this, but you're pretty special. God decided to give mankind a gift. He decided that your family, your friends, your neighbors needed something special from him. That God needed to pick and choose someone who could go somewhere and do something that no one else in the universe could do. So he picked you. Before you were ever born, he said, you know, I'm going to plan this out. I'm going to get this situation all set up so it'd be perfect just for you. Now, God only knows why he picked you because <laughs> I'm sure that, you know, if you're looking at you like I'm looking at you, I don't know. Maybe he could have picked a Tom Cruise, you know, or, or maybe he should have picked someone else, you know, like a Schwarzenegger with muscles. Maybe you have muscles. <laughs> or maybe you just have them between your head. <laughs> I don't know. But the strangest thing in the most weirdo way of doing things, it's God picked you to do it. <laughs> that's that's kind of weird in my book, you know. I mean, if you're anything like me, heck, you're just a poor sinner, you know, saved by grace. But for some reason, God decided that he wanted you. I don't know, <laughs> you know. The only thing I can say about God is he seems to know what he's doing. You know, I mean, what can you say to God? No? Maybe, maybe that's what you need to know is that whether you say no or yes, God picked you. God decided that, you know, I got my hand on his life and I'm going to make it into something that I can use. Now, maybe he can't use it or she can't use it. And maybe some people around him may abuse it, but I'm going to use you to accomplish my purposes. Hmm. Before you get too puffed up, Sometimes those purposes might be his curse. <laughs> you could be a vessel of honor, or you could be a vessel of wrath. <laughs> uh oh. That makes me think holiness real quick. <laughs> no, no, God may be a vessel of honor. So you see, God chose you to be a vessel of honor because he determined that he wanted you because there was something that he decided was special about you that he wanted for himself. It's kind of selfish that way, God. You know, he's kind of like a father who says, "Hey, this is my, this is my kid. This is my my son. This is my daughter, man. You don't mess with my daughter. You don't mess with my son. This is mine. You don't do what you think you're going to do to the one that I chose to do what I want to do with the person that I'm doing it with." <laughs> Get it? Got it. Good. Because you see, the big man upstairs. Okay, forget the big man upstairs. God has designed your day to day for you to realize that he chose you in a special way for a special purpose that he knows. And all you got to do is check in with him to find out what it is. Because today, you might accomplish exactly what he wanted for you to do. And who knows? Maybe the rest of your life will be smooth sailing. <laughs> and then again, 
Maybe there's something he wants you to do tomorrow. Hmm. Seems like that might be a good reason to check in with the man upstairs, you know, and figure out what it is that maybe he wants you to do today. Because who knows what he wants for tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll find out. In starting your day, talk about God, not the devil. Leave no room for foothold for the devil and give no opportunity to him. Ephesians 4.27 God once said to me, quit talking so much about the devil, what he is saying and what he is doing. I am saying something. Talk about what I am saying, what I am doing. Talk about what I am. Then one day God spoke a life-changing word to me, saying, Why don't you study the word and see how Jesus waged spiritual warfare? Hmm. I found that Jesus didn't talk or preach much about the devil. And what he was saying or doing, he simply dealt with the devil by casting him out of people's lives. He told him to shut up. <laughs> he quoted the scripture to him. See Luke 4, 1-13. Resist the devil today and tell somebody about the good things God is doing. Tell them about what God is doing for you. As a matter of fact, you really want to bless the Lord. You don't need to tell God about what the devil is doing. You don't need to tell other people about what the devil is doing. Matter of fact, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that the devil do it, isn't doing as much as everybody thinks he is, but nine times out of ten, you can tell what a person's thinking about and doing by what they talk about. It ain't football. <laughs> it's not politics. Maybe it's a good day to talk about God because, you know what? He chose you today. And he gave you as a blessing to someone in your life today. You are a blessing chosen by God. And dare I say, he even put his spirit in you to touch another life, to be Jesus to someone today. <laughs>